This video and others like it were made possible by the generous support of my patrons on Patreon. Salmon are one of the most iconic fish alive today. They are one of the most popular food fish and are used in a variety of dishes, such as baked salmon fillets, smoked salmon on bagels, and even fresh salmon sashimi topped with salmon roe. Salmon also have one of the most unique lifestyles of any fish, and any animal in general. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the largest and most bizarre species of salmon to ever live, Oncorhynchus rastrosus, the saber-toothed salmon. Only, this animal wasn't actually saber-toothed based on new discoveries. Instead, it is now known as the spike-toothed salmon. Fossils of Oncorhynchus rastrosus were first described in 1972 and were found near central Oregon. Other specimens have been described from other parts of Oregon, California, and even central Japan. These animals lived around 12 to 5 million years ago during the Miocene epoch of the Neogene period. New, exceptionally well-preserved material from central Oregon was described and published in 2024, including articulated skull material. Using CT reconstruction techniques, this new study found that the saber teeth of this salmon were actually more like tusks that projected out sideways on its snout. This made the teeth more like the tusks of a warthog, thus the saber-toothed salmon is now known as the spike-toothed salmon. Despite not being a saber-toothed fish anymore, the spike-toothed salmon is still an awesome animal. This animal was the largest salmon to ever live. It reached around 2.7 meters or 8.9 feet in length, and weighed up to 200 kilograms, or 440 pounds. This would make a fully grown spike tooth salmon roughly 4.5 times larger than the largest modern day Chinook salmon ever recorded. Compared to modern salmon, adult spike tooth salmon had larger gill rakers. This suggests that they were filter feeders and most likely fed on zooplankton. It is believed that the salmon may have used their tusks for defense against predators or when defending territory from other rival salmon. Scientists also believe that these fish developed their tusks as they matured and may have used them to dig riverbed nests when they swam up rivers to spawn. Salmon have one of the most bizarre life cycles of any fish. They start their lives in freshwater rivers where they hatch from eggs laid by their parents. As they grow, they migrate downstream to the ocean where they spend most of their adult lives swimming and feeding. When it's time to reproduce, adult salmon return to the same freshwater rivers where they were born, overcoming obstacles like dams and predators to reach their spawning grounds. Like modern day salmon, the spike toothed salmon would have migrated from freshwater rivers into the oceans and would eventually return to the same freshwater sites where they were born to reproduce. But this journey would have ended in a spooky twist. In modern day salmon, the migration is so harsh on their bodies that they start rotting away while still alive, basically becoming zombie-like. Salmon start decaying and can even swim around for weeks in a partially defleshed and even eyeless state before they finally die. Like their modern day cousins, these giant salmon would live out the end of their lives in this zombie-like state until they finally die. The bodies of these salmons would then decay and help release nutrients back into the ecosystem, which in turn would help support the new generation of giant spike-toothed salmon. In the Capistrano Formation of Southern California, spike-toothed salmon fossils have been found alongside other interesting animals, including primitive aquatic mammals. One of the most bizarre looking mammals from this region was Desmostylus. Desmostylus is an extinct genus of herbivorous mammal and was part of a family of aquatic mammals that no longer exist, known as Desmostylidae. This hippo-like animal had a small tail and strong legs with four hooves. Its jaws were long and had forward-facing tusks that it most likely used to cut through tough aquatic vegetation. Prehistoric pinnipeds were also present here, including extinct walruses. Gonfotaria was a huge prehistoric walrus with a skull length of around 47 centimeters or 19 inches. Gonfotaria was one of the first tusk walruses to appear in the fossil record, though its tusks weren't as large as its modern day relative. Paleontologists believe that these animals fed on clams and other mollusks. Based on the wear on the animal's tusks, Gonfotaria would have hammered shellfish open as opposed to sucking them out of their shells like modern walruses. 
Gonfataria is a great example of the extreme diversity that walruses once had during the Neogene. Whales like Herpetocetus also called these waters home. Herpetocetus was a species of Cetotherid whale. Unlike larger baleen whales, Cetotheres in general were much smaller and more closer in size to dolphins. Herpetocetus was roughly 4.5 meters long. This animal had an elongated snout and a slender body compared to other Cetotheres. Some Cetotheres got even smaller, which you can learn more about in our video on the Paratethys Mega Lake. Otoda's megalodon teeth have also been found in this formation as well, and all of these animals, including the spike-toothed salmon, were likely on the menu. In the seas of the Neogene, there is always going to be a bigger fish. Throughout Earth's history, animals have evolved into truly remarkable forms. The spike-toothed salmon is another example of how evolution via natural selection leads to unique adaptations. It is also a reminder that our understanding of the prehistoric past continues to improve with more discoveries. While it wasn't a saber-toothed salmon per se, it's still an amazing animal nonetheless. And in my opinion, at least, a giant fish with warthog-like tusks is pretty awesome. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and follow Nature's Compendium on social media and Discord. You can also support my channel on Patreon and get behind-the-scenes access to exclusive content, rewards, and even early previews of upcoming videos. As always, thank you for watching.